All right. In number 23, we begin to see um, how a couple moments can be really handy for us if, if we've got multiple couple moments that are acting. Um, so in this one, it says the resultant couple moment. And so again, that means we're going to add them up and see what the net is, see what the total is. Okay. So what all we really have to do here is figure out uh, the Cartesian expression for these couple moments. So if I look at M1, okay, it's going to have a magnitude of 450. And then I need to multiply that times, uh, I need to come up with a direction thing for it, I'm, you know, a unity vector basically. And so what we'll do is, We'll do it like this. We'll say that we're going to go that in, in X, we're going, you see it, it points right up here to this corner. And so that's backwards two and X, forwards two and Y, and up three and a half. And then to make a unity vector out of that, we apply Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, and um, so once we work all that out, what we're going to end up getting is minus 200, 200, 350. Okay, um, then we're going to do the same thing with um, M2. Okay, and M2 is pointing straight down. You can see there. It's a little bit easier because it's only pointing straight down. Um, we can really just look straight at it and write, okay, well, it's zero X and it's zero Y. And so it's got to have a magnitude of 250. So we'll just put our 250 in there uh, just like that. That's going to work out just fine. Then finally, we need M3. And uh, this one's going to have a magnitude of 300. So we're going to kind of pull the same trick that we did with M1 in that we're going to, we got to create a unity vector in the proper direction. and you can see these are pointed towards this location there in the XY plane. And so in terms of X, we're coming up a foot and a half. In terms of Y, we've gone backwards two. And we've stayed in the plane. So we're looking at 1.5 squared plus two squared plus zero squared. Okay, and once we run the math on that, get our numbers, we get 180 minus 240 and zero. Okay. Hey, now that we've got those, um, all we have to do is add them up. And um, so we're going to add things up just like we've done so many times. So we're going to add the X components together. We're going to add the Y components together, and then we're going to add the Z components together. Okay. And um, whatever we get for that, that, that's going to be our resulting. Okay. So when you see one of these guys, woohoo, give yourself a little thumbs up. It's going to be easy.